Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Um, it's kind of hard not to say that welcome back part. But anyway, let's talk about getting the length of a string. So we can do this using the dot length property. Uh, it's not a method, although it is similar in appearance. What you want to consider is that it's a property uh, because we're not calling anything. If it was length parentheses, then we might be talking about a method, uh, meaning a function that is located within an object. But since it's just dot length, we call this a property. So one version is that we can say variable length of name, and we're going to assign that to be an actual string dot length. So if we run this, we'll see that that's going to give us the length of that string, which is 11. The other version is that we could go ahead and save length of name, sorry, save uh, the name variable as, as a variable, and then say length of name is equal to name dot length. So name has been assigned to this string, you get the dot length, same idea, and we're going to get 11. So that's it, just dot length applied to either an actual string or a variable representing a string will give us the length. So with that in mind, we're going to complete a function that takes in one parameter, a string, and returns the length of that string. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the length of the input string using the dot length property and return that variable. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function get string length. So another nice one here, we've got two test cases. Two test cases again is going to give us a pretty reasonable assumption that our code is correct uh, if, if the output for both test cases is accurate. Um, and what I mean by that is let's say that I said return five here. Now the first test case is going to work. It should log five, it logs five. So I could be saying, hey, I'm correct. So I should, I should plug this in. Now the problem is, is that we're not actually doing what the problem is asking. We've hard coded a response that works only for this example. The reason two test cases helps tremendously is because we can immediately see that it already doesn't work for one of the test cases that is listed explicitly. Meaning the test cases that run when we run our code in the input window obviously aren't going to pass because we're not even passing the two test cases it gave us. So just a little bit of background. Uh, create a length variable. So we'll say length is equal to, and then, and again, we don't need to call it length. We can call it anything we want. Uh, we're not going to call it that because that's just confusing but we'll say length variable, we won't say length variable, we'll just say length, is equal to string, the variable or parameter representing a string, dot length. Now that we've said that, string dot length is going to evaluate to the length of the input string and save it as a variable length, and then we'll return that length variable. So if we run this and we get five and nine, we are in decent shape so far. Go ahead and paste this in the input window and find out what kind of version of good shape we're in. So we're in decent frame. Our frame is decent. Well, that's good news. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.